it is great to take back some feeling of power that you can actually orchestrate change. My name is David Lawler, I'm the Managing Director of Watermark Coffee and what we're doing here today is our part of our Green Ocean project. This particular project, what we're looking to do is reintroduce the native Irish oyster uh, back into Dublin Bay. In Dunleary here we have 30 baskets uh, and we have 10 in Malahide and 10 on the River Liffey in Poolbeg Marina. Oysters were actually very prevalent in Dublin Bay up until the 1800s and then uh, through a combination of exploitation and development they, they, became, uh, they became overfished and effectively extinct in Dublin Bay. What's fantastic is that there's 13, 14 oysters in this basket and they all look to be doing really well. Oysters are a keystone species, uh, and what that means is that they, uh, they're the kind of the species that kind of kickstarts biodiversity, kickstarts the marine habitat. So what the oyster does is it actually cleans the water. It filters 100, each oyster filters roughly 190 litres of, oyster, of water per day. And so what's really important there is that once the water is clear, sunlight can penetrate the, the seafloor, which ena ena enables things like seagrass and seaweeds to actually propagate and photosynthesize. Seagrass is one of the greatest carbon sinks uh, you know, in, in the environment and what we're looking to do is to, to create that environment where oysters are enabling seagrass to start to, to, to grow back. What's really nice about oysters as well is that they stabilise the sea floor. And so what that means is that if there is things like storm surge, that it mitigates the impact of waves and, and storms coming in. So it has a huge benefit for coastal erosion. So the oysters are kind of the little engineer uh, that's kind of pivotal to getting all that process going. They're never for harvesting uh, and they're never for eating at all. Um, so these oysters are engineers to clean the water and reproduce. That's their job. This isn't a brand new idea. So this is, I suppose, the, the, this idea came to me first uh, through the great uh, Baltimore Oyster Project in the US, uh, which is part of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. It has had a, a, an amazing impact there. In New York, uh, the Billion Oyster Project has been running for 15 or 16, well, probably 18 years now at this stage, and has, has a, had a huge meaningful impact in terms of water quality, where there's now wildlife in terms of, um, you know, whales and dolphins now seen in, in Hudson Bay. So it does work. We've had a huge amount of help here, both from the Dunleary Rat Down, uh, County Council, Fingal, the Dunleary Marina, Malahide Marina, Poolbeg, uh, National Parks and Wildlife, Bordy Skiwara, uh, the Marine Institute. So that has been a huge amount of collaboration and people have been very positive about this project. But fundamentally, we need uh, the community involved. We need businesses involved. Uh, we need people to come down and, and see what's happening. When we see kind of climate uh, crisis, sometimes we think it's, it's beyond our, 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 our kind of sphere of influence, whereas this project is actually really positive impact. The rainforest in Brazil gets a lot of attention, quite rightly, but there's lots of things we can do here in Dublin Bay.